I'm Asha Peter Thompson. I'm a weaver and knitter, and on the side, a crocheteaholic. My name's Stan Swallow. Sometimes I'm a scientist, sometimes I'm an engineer, and sometimes I'm a designer. Stan and I first met at Brunel University working on a, a talking waistcoat project for children with cerebral palsy. I was brought into the programme to bring that electronic and technology aspect to Asher's work in textiles. Stan was giving me some ideas about how we could put the electronics into it and they were all hard and things that you wouldn't necessarily want to wear next to your skin. That's why Asher had this idea of, well, why can't we use conductive textiles? It really was a eureka moment. And we took the rest of the afternoon off and we went for a drink. <laughs> so in 2002, we set up Intelligent Textiles. I had to be prized out of academia. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Kicking and screaming. scared of the real world. We were dipping our toes into all of these different, some might say gimmicky applications. The technology was really looking for a home that made it worthwhile. We were invited to a Canadian defence show. One of the key things was that the soldier was carrying 60 AA batteries. It was so heavy. Things like night vision, like radios, like computer devices. All of these items of equipment need their own power supplies. So as well as finding out about this problem with weight was this issue they have with cables. They snag on branches and on the inside of vehicles and that can become very dangerous. We knew that with our smart textiles, we could come up with a solution that would get rid of all the cables and would solve this problem with all these different batteries and create a flexible circuit board. Through the SBRI, the Centre for Defence Enterprise gave us funding that ended up totalling £235,000 in order to further develop this concept, to de-risk the technology and produce prototypes that soldiers could actually wear. Take your radio and GPS and computer and just plug them into sockets on the uniform. Some of the feedback that we've been getting directly from soldiers is that they are so excited that we're doing anything that can reduce the burden. We're now collaborating with BAE Systems, developing these ideas for the British Army as well as the American Army. Our little piece of fabric has found its way all around the world, doing amazing things that we would never have expected. This is just the beginning, but with the CDE funding, it's enabled us to be taken seriously in, in a very important market.